how to give a code review. If you spend less than 10 minutes on code review, you're doing it wrong. If you don't touch your keyboard during the code review, you're doing it wrong. And if you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. Hi, I am Smok. I worked as a senior developer in Cisco. Today I'm going to teach you how to give a good code review. This is not a technical tutorial on tools like GitHub or Garrett, but rather a proper introduction to the nature of the code review itself. So what is a code review? What tools do we use? Code review is of course reading someone else's code and making sure it's correct. We also suggest changes and approve if everything is in place. To give a code review, most likely you are using tools I've mentioned before. Garrett, GitLab, GitHub. There is myriad of them, but what they all have in common is a simple function of showing the changes done in a commit and storing the comments to selected lines. We can also accept the commit into repository or decline it. So let's start with some preliminary filter. When is it okay to decline a code review request? When description is vague or missing. When tests are not updated or missing. When tests don't pass. When change is too big to be comfortably reviewed. And lastly, you don't have enough time to do it right. Makes sense? Okay, so let's look at the last one. Time. To work with codebase you know, you'll need about 3 seconds per LOC, line of code. So about 30 minutes for a code review that has 600 lines of change. And I mean both, removed and added. So if you're replacing a line that was already there, count it twice. Of course, your mileage will vary depending on multiple factors, but this is a rough guideline I use. So let's get back to that first point. What is a code review and what code review isn't? Well, code review is not blindly approving the change by a colleague. I was taught that if you approve something that is obviously broken, you're the one responsible for it. So don't be afraid to decline things that are not high quality. Setting the right tone will eventually pay off. Code review is firstly understanding the change and then checking the style, code correctness, code cleanliness and adherence to business practices. If you cannot understand the code, ask the committer to walk you through it. So what are the steps of a good code review? Number one, read the code in full. Make draft comments which you don't publish. Number two, start from beginning. Read again and make sure your understanding is still valid. Number three, as you go, review and update comments you previously made. Number four, write a summary if it's needed. Number five, make a decision, approve or reject the change. Okay, that was a general overview. Let's dive deeper, how to read the code. Well, start from the things mentioned in the description. They should be the first things to understand. Navigate your way around the code how you understand it. My favorite way is to go from most abstract, most general, to the most concrete and smallest classes. Second time around, do it the other way. Go from very first file to the last, one by one. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Okay, now to the art of commenting. How to comment? Well, first of all, Encourage to make correction, never boss people around. Be polite and suggestive, rather than aggressive and sarcastic. Here are some examples. Good. Do you think it's better if A? Please explain why B. 
this seems to be C and not D. I would suggest E. Do you remember about F? I think you forgot G. And bad examples include Change this. Wrong, that should be X. This is bad. Why did you do it like that? Delete this. Useless. Remember that written words always sound way harsher than if you would hear them. Suggest alternatives with square bracket code tags and markup. Explain your understanding and paraphrase. Give some background why you think something is wrong. Real good commenters provide links to online sources or reference commonly accessible books. For example, if you have an office library, read each comment twice. Good comments are cornerstone of the team relations. Strive to make at least one comment or a summary. And keep in mind that comments are not only for scolding people. Simple, nice on a chunk of good code is also very welcome. Remember that most comments are about things that you can't easily measure, and that makes them your opinion, not a fact. You will be missing context, you won't know everything, and you also can make mistakes. What about summary? Summaries are useful when you have multiple comments and want to give an encouragement to appreciate the work done so far. You can use a summary to complement changes that are a lot of work or are very needed right now. Summaries also can be used to explain why you won't approve or do a review. And lastly, remember that yes, code reviews are used to guard our repository from bad code. But more importantly, we use them to teach our fellow colleagues how to write good code. And that's it. What are your ideas and favorite code review practices? I want to read about them down in the comments. This channel needs your subscription, so don't hesitate and do it now. Thanks again, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Cheers.